Hello beautiful sisters, my name is the Earth Star Healer and it is with my heart's greatest honor to welcome you into Healing the Womb 2023. In this world, there has been a long war against women and the erasure of women. And the truth is that there has been a battle on this power that is hidden within all women. There's been a lot of talk about femininity in our world and yet true power of femininity is experienced when a woman is grounded in the power of her womb. This is when a woman is in her confidence, in her joy, and in the power of her infinite creativity. And all of this is sourced from the intelligence of her womb. And in our life, we have been locked away from this power through the various curses and spells, traumas and programming that has been installed into our consciousness from this world. On this war of female erasure, we have been locked away from the knowledge and the wisdom of our own bodies. Before we dive in our journey, I want to show you this photo of me when I was five years old. My father caught this picture of me living out my destiny. As you can see, I'm shooting these laser lights out of my fingers and blasting this goddess out of a golden dragon egg. It's been written in my destiny since I was very little to support the women of this world to remember the ancient mysteries of the Divine Feminine. I come from an ancient lineage of Taoist masters who are women who have embodied the mastery over their light body and the mechanics of creation from within their womb. And these are the dragon scrolls that I'll be sharing with you in the Healing the Womb containers. It is the intention of this beautiful container for my ancestors to share these original and ancient knowledge of the womb with the world. In the ancient Taoist culture, it was believed that if a society had free women, women who were safe to fully radiate and express the fullness of their creativity and to have their breasts a bear in society while being totally safe, that these civilizations would evolve and grow quickly because women are the source of abundance. The womb is a reflection of the cosmic infinite sky which has access to infinite creativity. And when a society's women are safe and to radiate this creation energy, it means that all the culture, the whole civilization, can experience this amazing abundance. And I believe that this generation of women who are receiving this signal here, we are remembering these teachings and we are breaking these curses for all of humanity to reclaim all of the abundance that is the infinite prana and plasma that is flowing through these bodies. The Healing the Womb container was first conceived when my now daughter first came to me in 2019. When I became pregnant with her the first time, I was in telepathic communication with her throughout my whole pregnancy. During this time, I would wake up at 3 a.m. in the morning and she would be discoursing the contents of these courses to me telepathically. She is a descendant of this lineage as well, and she is also my ancient ancestor who were part of the original dragon families that inscripted these scrolls in the beginning. Through my initiations with her, she's helped me heal and activate the stargate power of my own womb and we are here together again to share this knowledge with you this year the container will be live during the venus in retrograde in leo which is an incredible time for the feminine to be exploring the solar feminine mysteries and reclaiming and releasing all distortions and wounding that are blocking us from our true solar feminine power we'll be focusing on the healing of complex sexual trauma. Many people have not experienced physical sexual trauma in their life, but they may not realize that just living in our world, being exposed to distorted sexuality from a young age from the media and our culture and our ancestors, that this has created many complexes of distortion in our sexuality. This includes our relationship with our body, the hypersexualization of our bodies from a young age, and body dysmorphia and various disconnections from our physical body which lock us away from the true power and intelligence of our body. One central theme that we have this year is a theme of remembering the high virgin womb codes. 
In December, I had the great honor of journeying to Machu Picchu for a ceremony on the solstice. And as the bus was riding up this mountain, I saw the mountain transform into a beautiful, ginormous white rose. And emanating from the essence of this white rose, I saw the frequency of absolute sexual purity and high mastery over creation in our body. And this is truly the codes of the high virgin. When you think about the word virgin, in our world, we think it is someone who is inexperienced, someone who is naive, and someone who has no awareness about sexuality. When in the ancient times, when we talk about you know, Virgin Mary and these virgins who are high priestesses, the virgin that we're talking about is really someone who embodies the highest purity and mastery and awareness and enlightenment of this creational force. And so this is our journey of remembering these high virgin womb codes. And this is the only way that we'll be able to birth the highest frequency realities in this world. This course is meant for every woman. Every human that's born into a female body holds latent this wisdom and this knowledge inside the body vessel and the womb. And no matter where you are in your spiritual journey, whether you're a beginner or advanced, you will gain so much from the exploration and remembrance of the wisdom that is held within your body. This year, the ancestors are calling our container a miracle medicine container. And I for one know just how difficult it can feel when we are healing these deep and intense traumas that feel embedded into our physical body and our ancestry because this war on women and the war on our bodies and our sacredness has been raging for thousands of years. So many of our ancestors have been carrying these woundings for such a long time and it can feel like we're battling and working so hard and not getting progress in our healing of our sexuality. Well, when we begin to tune in to the miraculous healing capabilities of the water element in our body, we are able to transmute and transform at a rapid pace and almost seemingly miraculously. The container will be split into four categories, working through each for two weeks. The first two weeks we'll be working on the soma intelligence or the physical aspects of our sexuality and our sexual healing. This is when we'll become attuned to the miraculous healing powers of our somatic intelligence and the plasma, which is the water that flows through our body. Through this awareness, we can receive this quantum acceleration in the resolution and healing of scars, both emotional and physical, from our body. In the third and fourth week, we'll be working on the psychological parts of our sexual healing, beginning with the rites of initiation. In the modern age, many of us never received this rite of passage into womanhood and the true exploration of our organic sexuality. And so as we rewrite these stories of our rite of passage, we will be able to install the true original organic pure templates of divine sexual energy and retrieve any parts of our inner children and inner teenagers who may be frozen in confusion around our sexuality. We'll be also learning about the inner feminine and the inner masculine and healing the inner mother and father wounding which may be contributing to the freeze of our sexual immaturity. Many women are frozen in what I call the masculine shield, which is when we are frozen in a state of hypermasculinity. And of course, our overworking culture contributes to this, but also our resistance to being in the feminine to protect our purity and our core essence from all that is dangerous and scary in the world. When we learn to dissolve the masculine shield, we learn to gain a safety in our physical body that allows for us to remember our radiance as a woman, which is the source of our true abundance and creativity. In the fifth and sixth week, we step into the ethereal aspects of healing our sexuality, which are the more quantum aspects of ourself. This is our template levels that has been damaged through the moon, Pluto, Saturn matrix, and the various control systems that have been damaging our female sexuality in order to siphon and usurp our creation energy. 
This will also include the clearing of various curses and implant systems over the birthing stargate, which includes the curse of the pain of birth, as well as the control nets over our birth canal that are forcing our creation energy to be birthing artificial and phantom realms and creations that are not of our own soul's choosing. If you are someone that has an abundance of creative ideas, but it almost seems like they are stuck in the birth canal or that the creation process is arduous and difficult, you may be suffering from this kind of implant system, which is a multidimensional energy system that has been placed into the Earth's body, which affects all women on the planet to disturb and make the birthing process, make the creation process painful and difficult as a way to siphon and steal that creation energy from the women's original creation power. And finally, in the seventh and eighth week, we'll be working on the template levels of our sexuality. And this is where it gets so incredibly powerful and fun because the template level is realizing that our human body and our human light body are made in the image of creation. And our light body was always made and designed to experience creatorhood. And so the reclamation of our womb and our womb stargate means the reparation and the restoration of these original templates in our own body and light body templates. These weeks will also include the clearing of anti hieroscamos technologies, implants, attacks, and weaponry. These are the original traumas of the original split from our beloveds during the Aeani massacres and various galactic wars during which high divine feminine priestesses were taken into various negative magic rituals and force breeding programs. These traumas are intense and deep, which is why the galactics and the guardians and the ancestors are blessing us with these healing technologies of plasma consciousness that can remove and clear these patterns with ease and grace and to restore our womb stargate to its highest power and sanctity. This is what I call the crowning of the womb. This is when we return our womb and our sacred body chalice back on the altar of sacred creation and we remember to embody our original template of creatorhood. We will go into the satanic technologies and inversions of promiscuity and casual sex and how these mind control technologies were inserted into our bodies to express ourselves in a certain way that truly lock us away from the immense depth of our sexual and creation power of our womb. We'll also be working through the original hierogamic split from creation from God this is the original separation trauma of the core essence of our being, that is our sexuality from divine creation. We will also be going into the fallen Egyptian timelines and the inversions that occurred in the sexual magic mystery schools that took these sacred teachings and inverted them into self-serving templates. And this is something that we are retrieving as a collective for the solar feminine sisterhood on planet Earth. And through all of that depth and intensity, all of that healing we'll be doing together, we will retrieve the true original temple scrolls on behalf of the divine solar feminine sisterhood on planet Earth, retrieving the original emerald dragon scrolls of creation as we learn the original templates of creation of our feminine light bodies and break generational poverty curses that has been placed upon humanity. We are really doing this work on behalf of all women as well as Pachamama to break these curses of poverty and to remember the emerald squirrels of creation in our light body. So truly this course is very multidimensional as all of our work on this earth is at this time. Through our individual healing and restoration of our original templating, we will be also working through the healing of this ancient sisterhood, as well as the Earth's grids, because the Earth is also our mother and she is also a sister. 
You may have noticed that the Holy Mother has been missing from our earth cultures for a long time, especially in the modern times. And there is a multidimensional purpose for this. When the Mother Principle is eradicated from the system's architecture, then her creation energy is able to be controlled and siphoned and taken for selfish gain. And together we are liberating the Mother Principle and returning her essence onto the planet. And she lives and she is birthed to the womb of each woman who is ready to do this level of work and take on this level of planetary responsibility. And this is the basis of our sisterhood. So much of the fracturing of the sisterhood and the wounding and the jealousy and the confusion, this has all come from the eradication of the Holy Mother's presence from the planetary ethos. And as the Mother Principle can return, and as the solar feminine template can be re-embodied through the womb of every womb star, then together as a sisterhood, we will remember the harmony and the power that comes when we unite and co-create together. And this is the beautiful mission that we are being invited to embark on together over the next year as we will journey to beautiful places around the planet and perform these miraculous ceremonial rites together as a collective on the planetary grid to reawaken the dragons who are in stasis inside of the earth. And of course, all of this can be only made possible through deep, profound inner healing, through the resolution of all of these levels of wounding that we discussed already in this video. And I'm just so honored and excited to be embarking on this journey with all of you. And I look forward to seeing you inside the temple of original creation.